Hello everybody, welcome to D&D &D Night on DDO stream, uh, sponsored by Fantasy Grounds. Tonight we're picking back up with Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. Um, please forgive me if I forget things like uh, remembering to go over where to check out Fantasy Grounds, like at fantasygrounds.com, or check out DDO at D uh, Dungeons Dragons Online at ddo.com. Because uh, I do have the flu, and uh, I'll be working through that, luckily, because uh, we're online, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, infecting anybody with anything. So there's that. It's me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're, you are a person. I'm just saying the whole party or anyone watching. I can just infect you with the desire to play more D&D. &D, and that's fine. Because that's the idea. Alrighty then. Could you leave off? <laughs> yeah, yes, we could hear your spiel. Okay. I was just checking that the the um, chat could. Yes. Super. All right. Uh, where we last left you is you had just uh, slain a bunch of Drugar and their little Drugar uh, hidden fortress around the corner, where they had been stealing stuff from the local town. Oh the right, and like a snuck through a tunnel came in the back way he did yep that was very brave question mark <laughs> yes. Yes. He, he violated the first rule of D D. what the party <laughs> that's right but of course the second rule is no one to violate the first rule so there you go and it's brave. It's brave because you're all alive. That's that's where I'm going with it. Yeah. I, I imagine there are. Yeah, I, I imagine there are other rooms that we haven't seen yet. So we might want to make sure that this place is cleared out before we do. You know, too much of ignoring what's around us. Yeah, this place looked pretty big, too. If it wasn't so cold and awful, it would be uh, kind of decent. You're not still in cat shape, right, Micah? No, I haven't been since I got in the fortress. Okay. Uh, all right, uh... And what's this um, five-foot circle here? That was a moonbeam, I believe. Yep. Yep. I'm I not was... seeing my token. I Man was of... erasing people. It was a thing. Well, that's so okay. If we're not currently token either. If we're not currently being attacked, uh, somebody can uh, raise the drawbridge, please. I mean, I have my grappling hook around that's that we can you know walk over, but it'd be easier just to walk over the. Is there, is there a lever or something to raise the drawbridge? Yeah, that small circle um, over to the on the uh, upper right. Yeah, right there, there was a was like a, a a capstan where you just crank around and crank it lifts up. Yeah, it was one of those. Uh, yeah. Okay. It was, it was a video game lock where you have to keep pushing it and pushing it until it locks in place. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go crank it. Yeah, me too. So Alex, I thought I had face-stepped across it. Did I not? I couldn't remember. So, there you go. I think, I think, I think, I think you did, yes. Yeah, because my face-step is clicked off. Otherwise, I'm taking yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm currently the only one that's outside. Everybody else was managed to get in. Oh, that's right. I did something really awesome, and I ran across a rope. Something like that, yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. so, All right, I'm going to try and turn it. Okay. I, I assume it's been turned, but... but All it takes is effort. Put your yep. back into it, Cronin! I'm going to improve that move right after I give you your full night vision. Yes, sir. And I've got 90 feet of dark vision. Aside from the cranking up of the bridge, do we hear... Anything 
coming from these passageways? Actually, no. It's quiet. Too quiet. It's quiet and still, still what? Still quiet. <laughs> Okay. That's yeah, I guess I'm just going to start looking around. Which way did Micah come from? Um, uh, fr- yeah. Yeah, that, that one. So not through that door that's kind of in front of you? No. So you came through right. this closed door over here on the right? Can I collect my rope and grappling hook. Okay. No. Okay. <coughs> All right, I'm going to move this way then. And everyone should have their dark vision working because uh, they've added that new feature. Uh, okay. Reads most people automatically. So if you're seeing in black and white, that's because it's dark vision. Oh. So I mean, there's no light in here at all, or? Pretty much. Not until you'll make okay. some. Okay. Because they also, being Drugar, were pretty decent with the dark vision themselves. Well, I mean, yeah. everybody see? Does, does yeah. anybody not have dark vision? No, nope, we're all good. <laughs> okay. All right, so this door right over here, that's not where Micah came through? It is not. Okay. There's a door here. I'm yeah. open. Well, what's in this big open passage first before we, like, open doors, maybe? What? This big opening over, he- over here. Oh. Not to mention there's also a door down to the south. Oh, um. I'm just going to move forward a little bit. Okay. I'm pointing at doors. All right. Okay. That's annoying. They should be <laughs> open. Now. Yeah. Because you can't see the walls. I mean, I, I don't like this line of sight stuff. Okay, so this goes farther back, or we can go into one of the doors. I think we should stick to, like, clear out the area that's already open, just in case there's anything hiding. That's Usually a good idea. Um, Kruby, you can get rid of that blue arrow that goes across the bridge as well. I, I guess it's not mine. I tried to really the door, it. it burst through. Fine, I'll come over here. Well, no, I mean, I don't don't care. Pick a door, any door. Door number one, door number two. Or you can have what's behind curtain number three. Yes. So, what's in this room? Okay. This uh, long room divided in the middle by two open doorways, which you can see through right now, uh, stands empty in the far southwest corner, and an iron lever sticks out of the wall. Iron lever. Yeah, iron lever. Uh, do you want me to control Shits and Woods, or whatever his name is? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> well, if it's one, it's probably the other as well. <laughs> True story. We love you, Patrick. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to clear the character if you want me to control him.
Well, what happens when we pull on this lever that I'm pulling on? All right. Uh, spikes, we fall to our death. Spikes are what happen. Uh, they come out above the two doors and shoot down. Where the Sorry, Martin. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe we should let the rogues pull the levers. I say from like thirty feet away. <laughs> okay. So, Sorry. but we see that it's clearly, clearly like a trap or something, or a defense I, mechanism. I think there's traps in here. Okay, if you want, you can grab uh, shadow in the trees. Okay. And if you don't want, you can still grab them. He's fuzzy. I'll grab him. So the trick with this trap is it works with the lever, not... I mean, you can see exactly where it goes off, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so, so I'd have to wait for Martin to come right up under it before I did it for it to really work? Yes. That seems strange. It's it's a defensive mechanism for this tower, but I'm gonna sneak in cautiously, I guess, looking around. Oh, I see. Um, and it's actually here. I'm gonna move forward just That's a little bit, steering clear of the doorway and looking up at the ceiling to see if there are any other things that look like spikes could come out of them, or anything else for that matter. Thank you for getting pushed to talk, Alex. Oh, um, <clears throat> I said that this arrow is actually pointing at the lever that does the controlling. Okay. Yeah, so we haven't even gotten to there yet. Okay. I probably didn't find anything. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. You don't see any, um, I mean, it looks like a smooth... Uh, ceiling. It's kind of, it is kind of shadowy, but I mean, you'll have dark vision, so you can see well enough. But it isn't perfect. But you don't, you haven't detected anything. Okay, well then, I'm, I guess I'll go right up to it. I mean, I don't want someone to set it off on us as we're walking through it. <laughs> so, is there any way to like? Take the lever or break it. Yeah. How would you like to try to do those things? I have thieves can you, tools. Can you maybe just remove the handle? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like use thieves tools and like unscrew the handle or something. Uh sure. Roll me a thieves tools check, if you would please. Good enough to remove the handle. Excellent. So there's there's just like um, a little screw sticking out where the handle was at this point. Like you re you removed a lock screw and then unscrewed it. Um, yep. So it can still be done, just not well. Okay. Yeah, good enough. Like you, no one's going to run up and hit it real quick. They're going to run up and go, ah, oh, crap. Is okay. there anything else in this room aside from the lever? A door. That is it in that particular room. Okay. Is there not a door in that south? The door is. to... Yeah, I mean, if you guys want me to lead, I will lead. Go up to the door, look around, make sure it's cool. Everything's cool. Excellent. All right, it's wearing shades. You know, it's just kind of snapping out of tune. It's cool. It's like negative ten degrees. It's very cool. I, I think that would be That's cold. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you compare it to. I would go for negative ten degrees right now. Yeah, just everything would turn to water for a second there and splash. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so you're checking the door? Yep. Okay. Do 
so. Again, uh, do me an investigation check. Just chuck it in the power. Here, let me just give it to you. There we go. Okay. Okay, you don't see anything. It appears to be a door much like the other one, but with less spikes. Okay. Yeah, I start to open it. Kind of wave everybody over. Door. It opens. Uh, a stone carved bed and desk occupy this drab room. Atop the desk are several shards of dark crystal, as well as a crumpled up piece of paper and a burlap sack draped over a glowing object that emits colored light that shifts from blue to green to red. Ooh, pretty. Fancy. Don't forget to move the map on the screen. Stream. I can get my words right. Thank you. Yeah, I was yeah, in the process of sending that message. <laughs> Uh, further, there is a, um, uh, a chest in the back corner. All right, somebody restrain Shadow. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Nothing to see here. Move along. And <laughs> I'm going to go check the chest. Make sure it's not trapped. He just okay. came running. Probably. Um, I'm going to poke at the shiny thing. That was a weird rolling physics. Yeah, it seems to be strange. Like, did they make a change recently? I mean, kind of skittering. Probably as as rolling. Yeah. Maybe they turned off the realistic physics that they had turned on. Ah. Uh, I bet. So, Go ahead, Susan, sir. if you're poking something, I'm just gonna move back a little bit. But it's so shiny. <laughs> it's it's going you, to be fine. What do you want me to roll, Alex? What are you checking? The shiny thing, the glowy. Oh, the glowing thing. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Do you have a backup character? Never. <laughs> I have refused to make up backup characters when I was told we probably should. I, uh, it has long been held in certain uh, LARP circles that uh, having a really interesting backup character ensures the immortality of your current character. Has so far. Yep, totally. Yep. Okay. Why don't you tell me about the, the thing that they're looking at, as opposed to all these other things? That'd be cool. Um, oh, it appears to be a lantern, as I remember what it is. Oh, that's right. Somebody was missing a multicolored lantern from their office space or whatever, their front of their inn or whatever it was. I will pick it up. Okay. Any of the other things? Oh, that's a lantern. Well, somebody was looking at the chest. Okay. Yeah. Be sure it's not trapped or anything like that. Okay. Did wait, did we ever search the bodies of all the the scumbags that we just killed? Let me not check, yet. Probably not. Uh, probably would have been a good idea. We will well, certainly do that on our way out. Unless a bear wanders by or something, or there's actually more of them in here, we would have time to do that. Yeah. All right. Just thinking bees or something. You did not find any traps on the chest. Yeah. I guess I'll uh, start to open it. I'm going to move inside then. What's the worst? I, I, I wait until it actually opens it before you move inside, but, you know, that's just me. Except I'm already inside. <laughs> what's the he worst said... that could happen? Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? You take 100 d 100 damage. No, you, you move out of the way as a thin slab of uh, stone falls from the ceiling, missing you. <gasps> Damn you. It was about one inch thick, five foot long. 
it hits the guy and, and cracks, leans in the way. He, he was trapped. Okay, so is the chest open? Um, <clears throat> yes, you can open the chest. I will. All right. Um, in addition to the chest, I, I do want to uh, reiterate that there were things um, on the desk in addition to the lamp. <clears throat> what other things were there besides the lamp? Let's see. I missed that. There are... Let's see. Top of the desk, several shards of dark crystal, as well as a crumpled up piece of paper, burlap sack, which was over the lantern. Okay. Hey, Micah, gonna... you like to read? Here's a note. Yeah, I will check the note. Yeah. Okay. You can put the lantern in the lamp and all the other stuff and just e make it easier to carry back, or what do you want to do? Suits up. Uh, um, is it what size is the lantern? It's pretty big. big bulky like it, it's a little bit bigger than a like right, just a normal lantern. Um, it's kind of well, it's like a, a prop sized lantern. If you understand my meaning, like it's it's oversized. Hey, will this fit in that chest? <laughs> Amply, in the chest um, are a pair of gauntlets. And boots. Ooh. Wonder if these What's are magical. Magic? Anybody have detect magic? Or identify? Well. I, I now that you have, mentioned it. I have detect magic. I do. Let the person who can identify it check it out because that's going to be more useful. I don't have identify, but I have detect magic as a ritual. Yeah, it just takes 10 minutes to cast it. Well, by all means. You're probably smarter than me anyway. And I guess while she's doing that, we can search the rest. Yeah, what does the crumpled up piece of paper say? Okay. Let's see if it tells me if we're just like, haha, there's a piece of paper. Nah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, see if there we anything go. Fantabulous. Brother, you will find me on the frozen ferry in East Haven. For the for this from this new base, the search for Chartalan continues. Long may our father reign over this dark land, Dearth. Okay. Now, as far as those shards that someone was looking at, uh, some several of them are uh, dark, just dark glass, but the other ones are more than that. see they are they are chartalin um which let's see i'm sure somebody uh i'm gonna say Viorca, you've heard of it uh, and micah you've heard of it from being near here um okay and it's somebody at some point the the details are fuzzy but someone used powerful uh and negatively infused magic in the area some time ago and it sept into some of the ice and it became this stuff this magical this unhealthily magically infused ice that doesn't melt that's the crystals yeah the, the crystal ice. materials what's a chartalin okay Looks oh, like it's someone's this. name. So. It's just not capitalized, so. Huh. Meh. All right, I explain that to anybody who's listening. Okay. You got it. one more check. Mm 
Somebody got buried. Mine ran. Uh, Martin ran. Sousa ran. Cranin ran. Shadows in the Trees ran. We are missing one. Okay. So, Cranin. Sorry, somehow I got okay. two, so. Okay. Maybe that was the problem. Enough of you were able to figure out that this stuff is malleable enough that you could you could make something out of that out of it, despite it being crystal uh, being crystalline. It's malleable enough to be forged, sorta. Well, that's neat. <clears throat> Who wants to wear the evil stuff armor? Well, it is worth mentioning. These do not seem to be infused currently though they could take energy mm -hmm. yeah so we should gather up the the shards um but um you know i don't know what we're going to do with it offhand i can uh, do we suspect that the shards are painted with any kind of corruption or evil These are not. These have just been transformed into the material. The... Okay. Hmm. Like they could be, but they're just not. Like if we had that intent. All right. So what else was on the table? Did we get everything that was on the table? I think we got everything. Yep. There's a bag. Like There's a bag? Yep, just a bag. It was draped across the lantern. Well, we'll put all the stuff in the bag. What's in the chest? There were boots and a gauntlet. Somebody was, uh, I think, doing a detect magic ritual, which takes 10 minutes to figure out what's, if there's any magic. That's me. I will uh, assist on their actual arcana check if they need one. I don't think they need one though, do they? I don't think so. Not with the check magic. I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> they both emanate alteration and enchantment. Most of yeah, magic that's been enchanted will emanate some amount of enchantment. Okay, well, As they're in... both enchanted and they're both altered? As in the school. Oh, okay. As in, you're a evocationist, for example. Ah. Well, let's gather them up, and then hopefully somebody's got identifier or something we can figure out. Not necessarily now, but back in town or something. Yes. Definitely. And we might want to go have a conversation with Dearth. Yeah. What, I can't remember what else was missing. The lamp and like two or three other things. Oh, let's see if I've got that in my notes. <coughs> I believe we're all public if you all want to. You could pop up and take a look. Okay, lantern at the northern light stolen. Pair of goats, which I think were in the cave. Small sack of pearls carved into decorative beads. I haven't found that. Although we found a sack. Did anybody open the sack? It was just draped over the lantern. Oh. Yeah. My, my impression was it was empty. So I had mentioned putting the crystals into it. Was it empty? Before? Yep. Okay. 
All right. Okay, well, well, yeah, let's move. Other other doors to open, other things to check out, other body, bodies to loot. So let us move on, I guess. And you found the two goats as well. Yeah, they were in the... Okay. And they're okay, stuff. right? That was my memory. They're they're yep. not deceased. Yeah, okay. So, we, yeah, I, we were going to take them back whenever we leave here, so... All right, and, uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, Definitely going to help with the searching of bodies. See if there's any uh, indication of like a, a, a dwarven clan or something that I'd be familiar with being up here in the north. That uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to suggest we go down south and check out the north that's down south before we head uh, east, but whatever. Which way did you come from, Micah? There was a hole in the... the in the wall that I, uh, secret pa uh, passage uh, from the ex uh, exterior building that I went through the tunnel and I came up into the, this building. Okay, so you but didn't well, come through that door? No. Okay. Uh, well, but since we're back in the main room area, yeah, might as well search the body since we're here. Okay. Let's see if it's. Grab that. Crack open some Drugar remains and let's see. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. Your doom soars on dragon wings says Susa. What? Oh, my sword said your doom soars on dragon wings. I don't know. Your sword said that? I guess. So your sword talks. I mean, to her, apparently. Sometimes. Doesn't yours? Uh, no. Not generally, no. Oh. I mean, I talk to it, but it certainly doesn't talk back. Uh, you know, we have had people go a little funny in the head up here in the north. The winter, all the time, it kind of messes with people's heads. Are you sure your sword is talking to you? Well, I mean, how would I know then? True. That is a deep <laughs> philosophical question. I'm just saying, I was looking at that Duger corpse and I was like, your doom soars on dragon wings. And here we are. Uh, so is it telling you we're going, you're going to meet a dragon and get killed? You know, as far as prophetic statements from swords go, not very helpful. Yeah, I don't even know how accurate they really are either. I mean, your doom soars on dragon wings. Would be more useful than maybe don't go through that door. Or, hey, tomorrow you're going to be attacked by an army of uh, bandits. Or, I, maybe I don't eat the fish tonight. Those would be useful prophecies. Well, don't fight a dragon is kind of, you know... Well, it didn't say that. It said that your doom is on dragon wings. Okay. Everybody's doom is on dragon wings. I suppose. <coughs> I guess that door's open. Well, did what we what we find on the corpses? <clears throat> you found me quickly filtering through things and typing things simultaneously. But you found... Um, <clears throat> Uh, several suits of scale mail, Drugar sized shields, war picks, and javelins. Well, nothing really useful for me. Uh... Yeah, um, 
Javelins are handy if, uh, you know, as a backup ranged weapon for somebody who is more apt to being up close and personal. Well, uh, Shadow said he wanted all the piercing stuff, so we can just load him up with a bunch of javelins. He's got a he prefers his bow, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we can load him up. Sure. Here, yeah, catch. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just we'll just call him Gunga Din. Hey, Gunga Din, carry all this stuff. Yep. What's his maximum carrying capacity? <laughs> all right. Yeah, he can carry all our stuff for us. <laughs> We can uh, also use them as target practice. Did, did, did somebody in our party use uh, javelins? No. I think most people can use a javelin. And uh, it's, is it a no, I, thought, I thought somebody actually had some javelins, but maybe I'm thinking wrong. Or picks. Uh, I have some javelin. I have uh, uh, I have some javelins. Yes. Or I, I, Sergeant no, Woozle. No, I, I don't have any, but I can use them. Like I said, most people can. Okay, and I'll put those in the party sheet. I'd much rather use uh, a scimitar or a spear. All right, what trap's going to fall on us from this door? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to check the ceiling first. That's a That's a... Okay, I, go ahead and toss that in the um, power box. You know, it'd be helpful if the sword told us what was going to drop on our head. That would be kind of helpful. See, like I said, it's not a very useful prophecy. Your doom comes on dragon wings. Nothing. Maybe Look, it's some guy. Like, um, Maybe I'll choose to do Okay. So I'm just going to go in. Okay. Push the door open and uh. Does it? Shh. Yeah, it's open. Okay. This is fine. I'm sure we're not doomed at all. Bonk. Sketch I'm... the sketch well. The, uh, battle map down a little, Alex. Well, technically, street. if she knows she can only die by a dragon, she should just charge ahead and not worry. Have to worry about anything else. Well, and no, that might not be me. It might have been that guy. It says doom on dragon wings. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be the dragon itself. It should be something he's carrying. Oh, yes. Yeah, somebody who can ride on a dragon is so much less threatening. And maybe it's just somebody who was named Doom. You okay. never know. It's possible. It, I, I think this is like the, the man at the party who, who tells you a term he heard a wizard use once to impress you. Uh... Your doom rides on dragon wings feels like that kind of level of prophecy. I'm trying to impress you with how cryptic I can be. Too much? Maybe too much. So, a no, it what, out. are those windows? Eight doors. There's bars right. in the uh, uh, This chamber appears to be a cell block out, yeah. lined with stone doors Ooh, that nice. have small barred talk, windows Alex. set. I can hear you. Ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this chamber appears to be a cell block lined with stone doors that have small barred windows set into them at a dwarf's eye height. Snow and wind enter the room through the barred window in the northeast corner that looks out towards the snow-covered bunker that guards the main entrance. Okay. Right. Are so there anything the in these cells? From the courtyard. Yeah, I mean, are they trapped? Are they are these solid doors or are they barred doors? They're barred doors from your side. Okay, so we can see in, no problem. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Except for we can't really see in. See in. I know. What oh, are actually, those? We can click to open them. I mean, if. What are those three boulder-looking things to the northeast? Those, those are the bars that are on the window. Oh, okay. So it's the shootout. Right. right people yes. approaching. Okay, so who's down looking at the ones at the south? Please move your token there to open them. I'll move. 
I was going to stay kind of in the middle of the room watching the stairs and seeing if whatever else might be coming out of those cells. If need That's be. exactly what uh, Shits and Trees is going to do. He's going to sit back up here and just ready a shot if he sees anything going. This looks like a human with lots of fungal growths coming out of him. Okay, oh, that that's... is gross. That's not a good thing. No, that's bad. I think I'll and probably just take a step back. To be clear. Yeah. Um, I'll take a few steps back. I'm like, uh, hello? I will set a bonfire right there. Uh, I indicate where I'm pointing. Uh, you don't have to set it on fire. Well, I think he was setting it in front of the cell, so in case it came out like charging, he would run through it. Yep. Uh, so if we can, you know, if we can actually talk to it and find out, you know, a if it's intelligent, b if it's like, you know, if it knows that it's under some sort of a curse or whatever, and if it's just some sort of mindless thing, he'll just run through and catch fire. Hopefully. Yeah, he cantrips. Oh yeah, and I get a new cantrip too. I need to pick that. So did did the, did the thing react at all when uh, Cranon uh, said uh, hello? Nope. There's a okay. Does our druid want to come down and kind of take a closer look at this uh, thing? Uh, I will come closer. Yes. Uh... So I can, I'll get close enough that I can see it, but still have a little room to operate if I need to back up real quick. Okay, from from where you are, you can see like a chest, and by this I mean like the center part of the torso of a thing. Is it because there's a dwarf height window ah, to look okay. in through? that case i'll come closer uh once it's clear that it can't come through i will clear that bonfire okay so i'll go ahead and clear the bonfire and so i can and and look in the window so, i ask i ask what do you see yeah what do i see okay and there is a clearly a, a ex-human um, covered in mushrooms, standing up. It has um, a bit of that gauzy fungal material over, at least, like over one of its eyes, um, and a bunch of uh, mushrooms growing out of its cheek and uh, up its um, up the side of its head and out out an ear. Okay. Is it moving at all? <clears throat> Not at the moment. Uh, do you say that, Micah? Uh, it, it looks overgrown with fungus and such. It's not moving. And, and with your check, uh, actually, that was Cranon. Did okay. you get that nature check? There we go. <laughs> well, all right, then. Um, so that was a natural 20 for those who want to know. Um, you've heard of corpses being animated into a form of unlife via um, spores and and the like. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think there's an order of, of uh, uh, druids and the like that can animate things with spores. Maybe a victim of one of those? Well, sounds like maybe we should put it out of out of its misery. Maybe. Um... Yeah. I mean, it could be related to that stupid druid that we killed before. Just a moment, I want to look in. Did you get that? I did. I'm oh, okay. I don't know. I'm not. I didn't know if I did it correctly. 
Yeah, so remember, Ravison was that druid who was evil before and killed before, so it could be his doing. Are all of these little windows or doors? Well, they're they're cell doors. This is a they basically said this is a cell block. Okay. Yep. So, but you can see yep. into them. We yep. can see all of them. Is there anything in the one in front of me? Nope. Like another fungal thing? Nothing in that one. This one? Nothing in that one either. Okay, these two back here are clear. About the other ones to the south. Are you going to open the one below you? Um. The, and I assume you're opening the windows, not opening the door. If you say you're opening, opening the, the windows, door, then... yes, yes, not opening the door. I th I think it's alive. Well, uh, you were but... just saying it might be undead, so you know. That's what, I, that's what I was saying. You know, maybe put about it, put it, put him out of its misery. Undead ish. Un unlife, I guess, was the f phrase. Um, I Alex. I don't think that it was what it was before. It's. I continue to look in there, and I say it's strange, almost alien. There's one in each of these down here also. I'm going to move back, except that I think I'm moving that five-foot thing instead of my. So there's like six of them, but there there's not any up up at the top, just on this. this oh, wall. there's a wall. Crap. There's a whole bunch of them, huh? So there's evil druids at work here, so I don't think those things are good. Well, uh, evil not... or... They're you... not... Moving though, right? They're just yeah. Like... It's not like they're killing people to do this usually. Usually. What do you mean? But that's exactly what they did. Well, maybe that's what they did here. But as I understand it, the animating with spores and such doesn't require necessarily that you be the one that kills the people. You could just find a body. So they're like evil not necromancer a... druid people. That's just Pe as bad. People in the cold have a very different relationship with bodies. Well, yeah, but the point the point is is that <laughs> if they're animated undead or unlife or whatever, uh, let's let's kind of release them from that and just you know put them out of their misery. I was gonna say, is there a reason not to kill them with fire? I can. Well, hopefully, uh, I can. I can do that. Cell by cell, if you want me to. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to sit around in a cell for the rest of my undeath as a mushroom person. I don't know about yeah, you. Exactly. exactly. Okay. I mean, they've got no way to communicate. They're just like zombie-ish looking things. So. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you have, if somebody had to speak with plants, that might work. Uh, Can you try yeah. and communicate with them, Micah? From what I got no from that role um do i think that they are going to be capable of conversation or or susceptible to a spell um no you don't think it would quite work you think if they were smarter you could talk to them but they're not okay yeah no I don't think I can do that. Sorry. It sounds like fried mushroom time. Um, I can... I can... <laughs> I'll go ahead and do this one. And I look in the window and, and cast Bonfire underneath it. She's just busy tying a cloth over her mouth, her nose and mouth. <laughs> I'm Wait, back. I can't... I can't cast it to, in there, can I? Yes. It, are they actually glass windows, or are they just like empty space windows? There, you could open and close it. The, okay. The slide, so you can open it, cast, because okay. you only have to see it to do the casting, and then close it. All right. Well, the 
I know that uh, transparent barriers block spells, so you can't cast uh, through like a glass uh, wall or something. That's why I was asking. So, yeah, you can roast. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Um, are you going to do this with all of them so I can just get rid of them? Because uh, they can't get out. <laughs> sure. Uh, I will... I will go ahead and uh, once w I do one and nothing more unpleasant than just burning a body happens, uh, I will go and do, go through and do all of them. Well, you know, like if the first one starts screaming and yelling, then maybe we'll stop. Yeah, right? yeah. But that yeah. counts as more unpleasant than just burning a body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, they do flop around a little bit, but they don't scream. They don't make any um, intentional sounds. It's nightmare sound. fuel. Okay, yes. cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Hey, I get all. I get to have all the nightmares tonight, kids. Thanks. Hey. There's more rooms. <laughs> more uh, rooms. <laughs> <laughs> so these two empty cells up on the left. What is in them? Anything? Nothing. Or is it? They're just empty. Okay. They're just. Four uh four walls and uh, one of them has a. A door on it, being the door that you're looking through. Okay. See, like, all right. Yeah, uh, I I I burn them all down. And are those stairs going up or stairs going down? Looks like they're going down. I would say we're going down. Sure. Okay. I I I will lead cautiously, looking around. Uh, trip wires, loose stones, ceiling that's about to fall on my head. Gross uh, dragons. None of those things. Small rooms flank uh, a central common area where the crates and sacks are stashed against the west wall. The doors of the two southern rooms are open, and each room is empty except for a tattered bedroll with a chair. From behind the closed doors in the northern rooms, nothing. It says there's snoring. There is no longer snoring. So we heard the faint sounds of nothing. Okay. All right. Let's go check some doors. There's the faint sounds of a past encounter. Excellent. <laughs> well, I'm going to toss the rooms just to make double sure. All right. Uh, let's see. There are basic supplies, blankets, rations, hemp and rope other such equipment um there's a sack with here, let me open it uh with 25 pearl car pearls carved with deck uh yeah 25 missing pearls item. carved yep. with decorative beads yep missing item um another sack contains three daggers a set of wood carvers tools a set of navigators tools fishing tackle and a potion of healing Hidden in a leather pouch. Ooh. And some silver pieces. Which I will toss that into your sheet. Well, I wonder yeah, if this we... is also taken from the town. They just didn't really notice. And once we uh, empty, you know, return stuff from, from some of the sacks, I will, I will take an empty sack. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. And a really nice non-carved uh, pearl worth approximately 100 gold pieces. Ooh, nice. Anybody uh, with the identify spell might want that. Yep. <laughs> it's so, a spell component. Grab it. it. Yep, yep. It is in its own little pouch by itself. You almost missed it. And it... Uh... 
but luckily Crane I... is, has a good eye for such things. If I remember correctly, uh, it is not expended when used, so... Correct. Yeah, it is useful to keep one, even if you don't have an immediate use for that spell. Yep. And I'm awesome. not sure if uh, something's going on with my token. I don't, I don't think I've got my dark vision on it anymore. Hmm. Okay. So I tossed the uh, gem to uh, Viorica. Thank you. And it's just a weird feeling that this would be useful for you. I put it in my pouch. Yeah, if we ever catch back up with Sergeant Woozle, we might want to check with him. Okay, it looks like you do. Did he forget it was pushed to talk again? Yes, I did. Uh, it looks like your dark vision's okay. When I'm moving All right, well. Yep, so just search the rooms. Yep. Because uh, when I when I double click on myself, which is usually when it's you know what I see, it's, it's all dark. But if I clear that, then it looks like I can see what everybody else can see, which is showing up. But anyways, that's all right. Minor detail. So is this like the barracks? Is this where? It seems to be a barracks, yes. Okay. And but, where some but, loot was. And there's, but there's nobody here. There. Right. We done killed him already. I think do, there was another direction. Any, yeah. Do any of these rooms appear to be, shall we say, fancier than any others? No. In fact, none of them have seemed any kind of fancy whatsoever, including what you presume was the leaders. Well, that's what I was getting at. I was trying to find, trying to determine which might have been the leader's room. And, Krennin, that seems druggerish to you. They're known for their complete and utter lack of creativity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. So, uh, this is typical for that scum like race no, so no that's that's fine my my thought process though is that if any of the rooms would might have a secret door it would be the room that the leader has it would be the leader's room ah yep and i don't know if we want to check the uh, west wall here for any uh, secret doors or not but with Two doors to the north, two doors to the south, and nothing. It's like eh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll walk over there and poke around. I mean, I can come over and take a look too. And well, whatever. What's everyone else up to you? It's going to stand in the middle here. Um, I'm afraid of spikes falling from the ceiling. In fact, I look up. Do I see anything? Ceiling. Ceiling. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to stand here. Do you want to, while they in de do an in-depth search of walls, do you want to use that 10 minutes to do anything? Oh, sure. She's, she's going to twirl her hair and check her nails. Mm-hmm. And is there anything? Hmm. I have to Did confess, we I any... feel weird after that fight. So. You feel weird after the fight? Yes, I do. How so? I don't know. Just weird. I walk over and I'm going to try and detect magic on Micah. Check him for and, mushrooms. And not his normal like magic but I don't know something off he seems the same as any other time you s okay well that was 10 minutes later you seem normal I guess so it's and fine. do I see any mushrooms nope. did you pull one of those mushroom people by accident <laughs> leave in any spores no 
No problem. I, it's it's probably nothing. <laughs> which which means it's probably something. <laughs> Does he smell different? No. I mean, other than, you know, being closer to burning mushroom, dead person. Okay. I say turn around and I look at his back. Okay. Anything, anything there? Any well, weird you're growing for... things? I was gonna say, if you're checking for mushrooms growth on him, it might be a little early if he just if he just inhaled the spores not that long ago. I didn't inhale any spores. I'm fine. This is beginning to feel like you're taking an excuse to look at my back. Nope. I'm just trying to see if like something like is clinging to you or something like that. No, I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the middle then. Okay. So, I know earlier there was a spell book y'all picked up on the um, top of the mountain. Oh. I'm trying to figure out where that went to. I thought, I think Viorca had it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I do, and I was looking for it, but I didn't see it, unless I put it somewhere else. You didn't leave it in party inventory, did you? Just says it has a hundred blank pages, but I thought I had a spell book that actually had spells in it. Well, you have your spell oh, book with spells. Oh, it's under A. <laughs> it's under asterisk spell book. I was looking okay. under S. Um. So. I'm guessing maybe no secret doors. No secret so doors. can I can I use a spell in here? If it's ritual, and if it's not ritual, you can memorize a spell in there. Can I memorize identify? You could. You can also cast it ritually. Wizards can cast ritual spells as long as they've got it in their book. I don't have it in my book. I have it in this book now, though. Uh huh. But that book is now your book. Gotcha. They're both your books. Hey. So anything okay. that is in that new book that you have, you can actually memorize <gasps> and cast if you wish, you know, during your long rest or whatever it is. But since Identify is a ritual spell, you can cast it from that book as a ritual, taking the 10 minutes that it requires. Oh, I didn't understand that. Then, yes, I will try to identify the items. Okay. Uh, during this 10-minute break, you can, uh, of of wall searching and everything, you can identify an item. Which item would you like to identify? All right, tell me what they are again. There is a pair of boots and there is a pair of gloves. Or gauntlets, really. I'll start with the gauntlets. That listed under leather gloves in the party sheet? I don't see gauntlets. That's what they look like. Ooh. Well, that's... Mm, as much as I'd love to have a pair. Is anybody... Uh, who's our, our best frontline fighter? Well... Totally me. I think... I, like that's, yeah. That's, that's, who's the most likely? Me. Yeah. But neither of us use strength, so that's that's the whole point. If they're if they're actually gauntlets of ogre power, then it gives you your strength bonus. Yeah. Actually, yeah, and that would probably be higher than my dex. I mean, I can um, use them. Uh, I actually have a question on that. Okay. Does a strength bonus from an item carry over when I have wild shaped? No, because your wild Gear. shape overwrites your all your yeah. physical attributes. Then yeah, it's of no no real use to me. I mean, I can use them, but eh, uh, I I think uh, the two frontline uh, stabby types probably are the best choice for them. 
Well, let's see, Souza, you you attack with a with a sword, right? Susa? I think she. I think she does. Yeah, yeah she uses her magical sword. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can, and, you, can and you guys hear me? We can. No. Yes. Now. now we, we can. can. Okay. Yes, I use. I have a sword, Moonblade. Okay. Well, I'm fine with giving them to her if she wants them. If she can use them. Yeah, she can. I can. Uh, depends. Well, on what... so can I. Oh, I thought you used a bow. Why don't one of you... I use a bow, but I also have a spear. Oh. Yeah. Why don't one of you guys take it since I have a fancy sword? Uh, yeah, Granny, you can go ahead and take it. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, if you want me to, I, I will take them. All right, I hand them to you. Hopefully, they will. They they will work. Right, Is... like I could punch stuff with them, or. Actually, I could just kick shit, or how does it work? Uh, you. The easiest way is make a note in your note section that says what your actual strength is, and then just change your strength score on the sheet. Okay. Because that's all they do, right? Just increase your strength. Yep. Yeah, gives gives you basically gives you a strength score of nineteen. Yeah. Which is handy. Very handy. And then, is the pearl gone, or...? No. It, it, it does not get consumed. Just, you know, make make a note of it, tuck it away, and it's basically yep. the material component you can use forever and ever and ever and ever until cool. somebody steals it from you. And go ahead and drag the uh, gauntlets out of the party sheet, whoever takes it. Oh, they're in party sheet. Hold on. Yep. Yeah, that's the one thing I, I think would be nice if they improved on in their party sheet, in... in character sheets in general is a, a place for you to note what your original scores are so when you get your temporary scores and everything you can refer back to what, what you had oh, yeah. yeah okay well when we have a moment again I will try to identify the boots please do yeah, worth we taking a, a bit of time we can actually just take a short rest you can yes yeah. a short rest would be nice I got a couple of things I could get back. People could spin their uh, hit Definitely. dice. Yeah, that's fine. Now, attack punching someone with those gauntlets on is going to make my attacks count as magic? No. Not, not unless you're, they already do. It just no, makes it doesn't. You, it just makes you stronger. Just makes me stronger. Ooh, that means I get some spells back, too. Ooh. Those are not attractive boots. <laughs> <laughs> they look like clown shoes. They clash I, with my outfit. I don't want them. I love them. They're like bondage clown shoes. <laughs> They're very nice, yes. Just realize that you're in the north and everything up to your ankles is already covered. <laughs> the boots on your boots. Yeah. Uh, ooh, those are pretty. Boots of striding. Boots of striding and springing. Those? Yeah, um... yeah I don't need those. Okay, so... What I'm thinking, I mean, anybody can use them right now, but, but you know, with, with Sergeant Woozle being a halfling, he has... Uh, a lower striding than the rest of us, so if we ever get him back, we can give him to him. Yeah. That's true. Uh, but in the meantime, if anybody wants to use them or have them or whatnot, yeah. Um, I get the feeling Micah wants them. Well, so that one, it may be actually just because I, 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 I like them. Um... But uh, I've recognized that somebody else might get more use out of them. Um... Well, who's slow? Well, is anybody encumbered or wearing heavy armor that would reduce their movement right now? I don't think we're a heavy ar armor bunch. Well, I don't know if susan has got heavy armor or not. Uh... One of the, okay. 
again, one of our uh, frontliners. This would be great for um, doing the crossing the distance quick. Like you can jump three times your normal distance while wearing them. Up to your movement. Up to your movement. Right. That part's so. You, yeah, yeah. So uh, honestly, if we give the Socratic, who now has his strength of nineteen, um, that's an impressive amount of of distance from a jump. It is. That is. But if we. If we want to needed. like, if we want to spread things out, yeah, yeah, even at or his. if Cronin wants this instead of the gauntlets, somebody else can use the gauntlets too. Even af with his base, his previous strength, um, ten uh, ten foot run leaves him thirty feet, which he would then be able to jump the thirty feet. Yeah, but eventually I'll be able to climb, walk walls, and do all that stuff. So. And well, it's. I mean, no, no, it's it's. They're good, but like like I say, I mean, I I think ideally we would want to give them to Sergeant Woozle. Yes. Uzo, what's your movement? Mine's thirty. Um, yeah. I have a base step. So yeah, we're all th well normally thirty, except for me. Yeah. Mine's even higher than that. So yeah, I, I think it's just what, 40? Yeah, because she's a frontline fighter too. Yeah. Me. What's What's your yes. strength, Susa? My strength, nineteen. Uh, strength is twelve. Okay. Yeah, you can use them if you want, or I'll use them either way. Somebody with enhanced strength is going to get more use out of them than I will. As well, much as I, I, I don't cool. have enhanced strength, so yeah. they, I, I'm fine with them going with the. Uh, with the well, gloves. let's just leave. Let's just leave them in in party inventory then for now. Okay. okay. And when we're in a fight, and somebody goes, "Man, I yeah. wish I could get there faster than that." The person who gets to wear well, them. <laughs> on, on, an well, character, on, on an out of character level, McCoy has always loved those items. Oh yeah, I've those are loved, very cool. Oh yeah, yeah, they're they, they are a classic <laughs> item. That this is just the the latest version of them, and I've always loved them, so I'm glad to see some in here. But no, I can't use them. <laughs> yeah, see, there's a, there's actually a better version of those. It's really flipping cool. It doubles your movement. Yeah. You don't need them, right, Cronin? Or do nah, you? Yeah. No, no. They, I'm they really faster wouldn't do than much. Those. Yeah. No, they they let me jump, but not. Yeah. It's not. I didn't think so. Yeah. So if we're done in there. What about shadow? Um, his movement's 30 already. What's his strength? Actually, except when he moves 60. Except when yeah. he moves 60. His special, yeah. Eh. It's, I mean, I don't understand how he moves and crazy stuff like that, but um, he might like them, but we'll let him, we'll decide, I guess, when he gets back. Okay. I mean, he's got a climb speed of 20. Does that, would that, that wouldn't actually increase his Climb no, speed. yeah, I don't believe so because it doesn't. It doesn't explicitly say it increases your your climbing speed. It just says yeah. your movement speed. Yep. So again, I think ideally they would go to Sergeant Woozle if he yeah. ever comes back. Oh, I'm sure he will. Oh, well, to be fair, to complete this adventure, we'll still be playing five years from now. Surely something will change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, once a month for three hours. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Yeah, yeah. Just recluster you all there. Okay. Next door. I'm petting the goats while waiting on them to check the door. Yeah, yeah. I am. I am not going to go near the door, but I will be where I can see. Oh, cute! Look at one's headbutting you. Oh. I've always wanted to play a strength-based monk. Well, now's your chance. Yeah, it's just so hard to make a character that does that. I've done it as a bear folk. That's about it. Yeah. Bear folk. Looks like the doors are open. 
The door opens into a large, nearly empty room. Push to talk, honey. The door opens into a large, nearly empty room. Snow has drifted into the corners, and frost covers the stone walls. Three barred openings overlook the snow-covered grounds outside the stronghold. Right, but I'm saying the door is actually open? Yep. Okay, then I'll step through. Hey, trap. Check oh, yeah. the ceiling, I yell. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was slacking off. Should let me go first. Yeah, so you really want to check like ceilings like while you're going it. through like caves and whatnot because you know the, those stalactites might not actually be stalactites. Okay, something happened right there, and again, all my vision just went poof. So I don't know. I don't know what, oh, is that what happened? I think so. I think it's the door. Well, it's open. Yeah. Like close it. Open. Close. You're in the door. No, I'm I'm past the door. Somebody somebody like moved inside of here, and all of a sudden everything went poof. So does somebody have like darkness on them or something, and it's encompassing me or something. Mm -hmm. Oh well, Cronin's shadow. I am, I am shadow. I am darkness. Uh huh. I am night. I am vengeance. I am dark wing duck. It's interesting. It's it seems to be in, happening on your end as I look at it, look through your dark vision via both mine and the stream's view. So okay. that's no, weird. could could very well be. It's just it's just weird. I mean, everything was fine. Then then you know somebody moved into the room and poof, it just disappeared on me. Weird. Is it better now? Oh, it's still gone, but that's okay. So that's what's in there. Right. This is an overlook. Uh, somebody, if I recall, was getting shot from with, behind these doors prior. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think Zuza was. Good time. These are more stairs down. What's in the? Is there anything in the room that we're currently in? Nope. Okay. Footprints in snow. All right. Oh, there's snow. snow it's snowing in here? The snow is blown in here. Oh. Bars. Yeah, open, yep. open windows with just bars. Yeah, the snow will just kind of drift in. But, you know, hey, you know, feel free to make a snowman or dri or dig through it, see if any anything, if it's burying anything. Perfect anything. for making a snow angel, I guess. Snowballs, yeah. And I'm going to cautiously make my way down the stairs looking for trip wires or anything. Okay. Piles of equipment are pushed against the walls in this room. In the southern end of the chamber, open hatch reveals a route leading underground, which is actually, here's where it tells me that's where the tunnel comes out, but it's just another one that connect the, connects to it and you couldn't see it before. Like you just missed it when you went in. And I will put that equipment as well. Well, now it seems to be working okay. Maybe it's just certain rooms. Weird. Nothing else in here, just the trap door. And loot. Okay. I actually am uh, maybe seeing the same thing you were seeing. Uh, there's like, it's clear you are seeing a room that I wasn't seeing until I crossed through the threshold. Um, which is weird. Ah. So what have we got for loot in the room then? Okay, in here, and I've already put it in the party talk, honey. In here. <laughs> um, let's see, I, I'm it used does to look like play, you cleared uh, something. Yeah, and it does look like you cleared something up because now I can actually see down through into that room we just passed through. So. I found it. 
it was okay. a hidden uh, light barrier. Ah. Or line of sight barrier. Anti-Zerg precaution. Um, two climbers kit, nine javelins, four mess kits, two sets of scale mail, two steel shields, and three war picks. Climbers kits are cool. Does it could make you use a shield. Does this Sorry. equipment look like it belonged to these Dugers, or is this like stuff they've ransacked? A little of both. What was uh, what was the loot? I was uh, distracted. I heard shields. Just a second. I was actually combining it so it all stacks in your. In your Same operation. kind of crap we got before. Scale mail shields, picket war picks. Right. Well, if we do happen to find any half mail, I would be interested in that. Yeah, or, it seems that half plate. half plate would be a uh, go be a um a big deal for this party. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna steal one of the shields if that's okay. It is steel. Take two. I don't use one. Uh, is there a reason why I can't use steel? Uh, nope. Uh, Not in this it? edition. All right. Keen. Yeah. I mean, let me double check. Cause... Well, there, there's no actual rule that says you can't. It says they try to avoid using metal, but there's no actual rule. Yeah. That's a fair point, though. I'll I'll skip on the, on that then. I mean, there are wooden ones in the in I think hanging out in the inventory already, but I'll I'll take one of the wooden ones. Although I do use a scimitar from time to time, so that's not like. Okay, so that's what's in that room. And that trapdoor goes to the. The, the pillbox. Yes. Yeah. Gives that to the. Well, um, yeah, A, but do we know that? B, it's still worth checking out. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I thought Micah said that's where he came from. That no, is... it, sound, it sounded like there was a secondary entrance yeah. that he missed as he was scuttling along the, the uh, tunnel. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Check for traps, of course. Cause... Brennan first. Yep. Pop over the top. He peers into the darkness. What do you see down there? Boop. Push. No, I wouldn't do that. What the heck? Is my dark vision working? Are you running around? No, it wasn't me. Oh. He's testing something. No, I'm just trying to move you. What was that about going nuts because it's so cold? Yeah. It's those new gauntlets. He's, he didn't put any insulation on them. They're just <laughs> bare metal on his hand. Yeah, it's freezing in here. I was thinking we could make a nice little uh, home out of this place. Oh, yeah, no, this would be a nice little stronghold for us if we could, uh, if we, when we want to, you know, not do anything else. Yeah, but we need... see if we can hire some uh, some mercenaries to keep it for us. Yeah, we gotta make sure the duo guard don't come back though. Then we gotta go kill them. Yeah. Anybody else going down the the hole? Uh, I'm just... sure. I've been down never... it before. Never split the party. Except when you. Except yes, when I'm you going do. to. Except when you do. <laughs> I'm trying to bring Shadow in the trees, but come on, Shadow. All right. I mean, he he could, he could guard the entrance. Oh, well, there you go. We can we can put him in the bunker, and he can just stay there while we collect <laughs> whatever loot. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I thought <laughs> we we're gonna use him as a mule. Oh, well, there's that too. <laughs> I mean, because he kind of looks like. 
I mean, right oh. now, uh, Krennan is the best person for carrying all this stuff. I am. <laughs> Here, put these on. Now, carry all this. <laughs> and at last, yeah. our cunning plan that. comes to fruition. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we've been moved to a different room, right? Yep. I'm assuming we were moved to a different map. So, no, not open to me. It's it's the same, just everything else is blocked out. There we go. I just closed it and then double clicked on my token and it and I the map popped up. Yep. Oh I see. Okay. Yeah, you're just lower on the same map. Yeah, I was just zoomed in is all. It's okay. Alright, well let's check I uh, I don't I don't remember if uh, if uh, Micah was able to uh check the body or if he just basically went DD Mal for the for the entrance. So we you know check the body that's in here, check the room. Okay. I will adjust the party inventory by increasing the things that the Drugar have on them in there. Other than that, that's it, huh? it in here. Wow. And that appears that we've basically searched the entire keep area. So I guess let's get the goats and head back. Is this like a fuzzy rug in the middle here? <laughs> I was wondering something. Yeah. It, it, it's a uh, oil fire. I wouldn't stand out if I was you. It, it is, in fact, an oil fire that is has been out. It is the remnants of where there was one. There's a burnt Drugar in it. Nice. Is it covered in mushrooms? No. Okay. Oh. I wander over to the window and look a look, get a funny look on my face, and I will jump out. Uh, I will disappear and reappear outside. What you doing, Mega? How did he do that? Why do you do this now? All right. It was like he bamfed. Magic. Or like I like to say, F U, it's magic. Okay. Can I PFM is what we would say. PFM. <laughs> Can I that? see him out through the bars? Yep. What are you doing? I'm not real sure. Why don't you wait there for the rest of us? Oh, okay. Is he floating? No. No, he just like teleported out. I was gonna, I was gonna suggest maybe you'd ask him to come back in with us as opposed to waiting out there because he's gonna wait there for a minute and he's gonna forget and he's gonna go running off and we'll never find him. And you thought it was weird when I was checking to make sure there were no mushrooms growing on you? There are no mushrooms growing on me. I'm a druid. You want to come right. back in here and go with the rest of us, or you want to wait there? I'll wait. It's fine. There we go. I will, there's something that else uh, you'll find. Um, not in here, but in the uh, fortress um, near where the ogre was, uh, in case I forgot to miss it or mention it last time. Um, there is a sled. Ah. Well, let's load that bad boy up and put the goats on it. We're going go, for have, a sleigh have goats, ride. Have goats pull it. So I'm I'm thinking we leave Shadow in the trees in here to kind of keep an eye on Micah while we all head back, and then once we actually catch up with Micah, Shadow can catch up with us. Uh, I'm gonna face step out next to Micah. All right, okay. that works too. All right. Don't the rest of us collect the goat and the and the and the, and the, and the sled, and uh, presumably we come on out and catch up yep. with Micah. Yep. Where's Sergeant Woozle when you need him? Uh, I think we can permanently say that he is keeping guard on this location, so that the Dwargar don't come back. No, I think I think he uh, went to a different town. 
well, we told them what town we were going to, except that's not the town we actually went to. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is, I think I think he was headed. He decided he was going to head into one town while we were doing while we were getting the guys off the mountain. I think. Ah, so we didn't lie to him. Okay. Hey, Alex. I don't yeah. know what happened to my token, but I was faced <clears throat> over next to Micah. I know. I've been trying. It's decided that I also can't walk, move you through walls. Oh. There we go. Thank you. So I have to drag you on re onto the map every time someone wants to walk through a wall, wall now. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Oh, there's a little check mark thing to uh, attune items, isn't there? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Don't worry, I'll take care of the goats. Do you have anything that you actually have to attune to? The gauntlets. Do you? That's yeah. nice. Yeah, well, it's my first item. No, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying in general that sucks. It does, because <laughs> you can only attune to three items. It's so, so low. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty of things that need to be attuned to. Don't, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot, awful lot of stuff that shouldn't need to be attuned to. And well, I, I would think the gauntlets would be one, but that's okay. What do I, <laughs> I know? I know. I would, I would expect the gauntlets to be attuned. I mean, it's altering a trait. It it seems like something you would want it to be attuned, so you didn't end up putting on a dozen things that increase your stats. Um. Yeah. Okay. I can kind of see that. Right. It's not like they're minor artifacts or anything like that. But all the strength items kind of start to bend things pretty hard on their own. But anyway, um. So you'll. Gather up your stuff, um, and you'll make shift, connect the dog sled to however you want to pull it. I'm guessing the two goats, and you'll walk beside of it because they can't pull. Well, you know, unless Michael much. wants to turn into a bear and pull the sled, I mean, that'd be fine with me. It's I can actually, I, I can turn into an axe beak and pull the sled. Can you what? turn into a war horse? Actually, I can now, can't I? I, I get will. to ride. Yeah. Uh, War horse in the snow, though. It's like, okay, well, all right. I mean, Not people ideal. have been using horses in in uh, the north for a long time. They have. So, yeah. Uh, I'll turn into a horse or an axe beak or whatever is going to work best. Okay. It is interesting yeah. that the um, harness that was attached to this dog sled was, well... On the ogre zombie. Well, I guess you used what you got. Well, he was strong. Pull the sled. That makes sense. Yeah. We'll but we'll work, work it out. Yeah. yeah, so we load, we load up all that good stuff. All that scale mail and everything else. Because, you know. We can sell so, it. Ka-ching, ka-ching. So, so, Micah, when you said you didn't know why you jumped outside, did you don't. Do you remember jumping outside? Did you do it on purpose? I, I, I thought I wanted to go outside, and suddenly I was outside. This is new. This is not something that I normally can do. He's turning into one of those mushroom people. I am not turning into a mushroom person. We should all keep an eye, close eye on him. I'm looking at you very closely again. Okay. Okay, just a second. Uh, yeah, we head back to town. Okay. And as you all head back to town, I'm going to have a set up for a few minute break, if that's all right with everybody. Yep. Sure, sure. 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 Uh, let's see. All right. All right, everybody. We'll be back in a few minutes. Mr. Dark, honey. 
All right, everybody, we'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, again, this is D and D Night, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, uh, brought to you by Fantasy Grounds, the number one most supported uh, tabletop. Uh, every time I try to say that particular phrase, um, interface for games out there. Yay! All right, at least I can keep on track mostly on what we're playing. Thanks to all of us. Let's turn up the weather a little bit while you travel. Did you share a different map with us yet? I have not done so yet. Okay. Okay, let's calm down a little bit there. We need some traveling music. I've been wondering. There's a good program for that, but I don't have it yet because it's a subscription. And if we were to sing good traveling music, uh, we would be breaking copyright. So, technically, no. why is this visible? I think it depends on what we sing. <clears throat> all right. So, as you all travel along, let's see. Um, Martin, what's your traveling ability say? I know you've got some. Uh, yeah, just a second. Two goats and a bear walk into a bar. Wait a minute. <clears throat> the bear says, ow. Hey. Yes. So that's under Natural Explorer Arctic. Uh, when traveling for an hour or more, in your favorite terrain, which Arctic is, uh, you gain the following benefits: difficult terrain doesn't does not slow your group's travel. Group cannot be lost except by magical means. Uh, even when you're engaged in another activity while traveling, such as foraging, navigating, or tracking, you remain alert to danger. If you are traveling alone, skip that. When you forage, you can find twice as much food. Uh, tracking other creatures, you learn their exact number, size, and how long ago they passed the area. Okay. Thank you. So as you all start to travel, um, who's driving... Well, I guess technically Micah. No, he's pulling. <laughs> yeah, I, th there will be no. I'm going to pull on the uh, the reins of Micah, or you know, I'm going to break out the whip to drive Micah. Not without dinner first, at least. <laughs> Fine. Here's a meat pie. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, then I'm down. Whatever. Uh, I'm an easy date, is what I'm saying. All right. Get along, little doggies. Get along. As you all start to travel, the weather turns poor. And by poor, I mean, hopefully this is going to work. I'm going to share this map, and let me, and then I'll see what I see, I guess. Whoa. It's a little windy out. I turned it down. That's insane. It's at half. Holy crap. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, apparently it's based off my, uh, linked in some manner to my video card. It's like, it's speed or something. Nice. So, this is a... Hilariously fast on the stream. <laughs> yeah. So it's, uh, it's a blizzard with a capital B. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Probably have a flash that, that, warning. Now that might be under copyright, so you need to be careful of that. What blizzard with a capital B? Yes. Okay. Um, 
That was a come phrase. On, come on, come on. What? It, it's not. Anyway, terrible blizzard. Um, and you all are, are walking, trudging along in it, and you see that right, like right. You don't notice it until it's right on top of you. There's someone sitting in it. It seems. Setting in what? Setting in what? <laughs> we say in stereo. Sitting in, in the, the blizzard. blizzard. Just sitting there. Uh, poke it with a stick. Is he frozen? Yes. Um, you poke it with a stick. Describe the stick. Where did it come from? Is it actually not a stick? Is it just something you have to poke with? Yes. It's a javelin. Well, you have quite a few. All right. You poke it with a stick, um, and some stuff seems to fall off. Ew. Sorry, uh, dude. There's, like, a satchel. Uh, uh, is is the being appear to be dead, alive, yeah. undead and frozen, or alive and frozen? Possi possibly either dead and frozen or undead and frozen. Okay. So chop his head off right now before he gets up. And on that note, um, anyone who would like to grab that satchel, please say so now. Uh, we'll oh, grab oh, yeah, that oh. was that. Oh. Okay. We all go for the satchel. <laughs> well, I'm assuming otherwise it would like blow away. It's like you immediately blowing. notice as you as as you disturb the corpse that it. The ground shifts and shakes under everyone but for Micah, um, who's behind. And Micah, you can see uh, two large wings slap underneath the snow. Wait, how did I get up there? No, oh, it's 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 the doom that's on the dragon's wings. Oh no! You all have walked upon a creature that was hiding under the snow. <clears throat> and as it shakes, um, it begins to move, you realize that the person sitting on it is strapped on it. He is in a, a um, saddle of swords. Oh, he's riding on the dragon wing. So, oh. this is Mr. Doom here. And... The dragon, uh, in its immensity, um, opens its eyes and turns and looks and says, Twelve. Just, just, just twelve? Yep. Just for the are, moment. Are we standing on his head? Uh yeah I I I think we kind of at least I at least I do even though I've got grab the satchel or not I back off and try to get off of him. Oh I, yeah. I'm gonna shift back to my human form. Is this a riddle? My guess is it might be a countdown, but that's just a guess. Thirteen. Just kidding. All right. One more. All right, Martin, you're up first. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll can we actually to... see part of the uh, dragon or not? Or oh yes, yes. whatever. It okay. is. It is. It has made itself visible. Um. Okay. That was habit. Can we determine what color it is? White. Of course it is. Why would it be? Okay. <sighs> and it is gargantuan. Yes. Gargantuan. Um, I will. I will. Yeah. I will try to speak with it. Just in common. I don't believe I speak draconic. Okay. Let me double check though. Pretty sure not. Uh, 
Uh, okay, so yeah, so just in common, it's like uh, our apologies, your your eminence. We did not mean to uh, tread upon you. And it responds with eleven, and gives you the eye. Yeah. Time, time, time to run, boys and girls. We uh, we should boogie out of here as quick as we can. He's on a countdown. Are we still going that's in initiative order that's, here? That's, yep, my, that's my action. Uh, you've you've still got um I'll more pass movement left. If you'd like. Should talk, Alex. You still have movement, more movement left if you'd like, Martin. Not unless everybody else is moving. This thing is massive, right? Yep. Can I? And the the rider is strapped into a saddle. Yep, and is dead. Can I throw him out of the saddle and jump in? <coughs> uh, you can try. Yeah, I totally will try. Okay. Um, he is basically strapped into the saddle. So you can un unfasten him and fasten him. And if you'd like. Oh yeah. Okay. As you do, do so, it. the dragon goes six. <laughs> Sorry? Would you like to continue? Um, does the dragon look like alive? Oh yes, it is very alive. Am I in the saddle? Uh, no, not yet. I'm. I'm giving you a. Uh, so you start to uh, unstrap uh, the body, and um, <clears throat> and the dragon's head, which is snapped around, looking at all of you. Um, except for Martin currently, uh, which one of its eyes was. But anyway, um, <clears throat> dropped its count significantly. I'm sorry, do you need a new rider or should I, or should I just run? <clears throat> okay, I run. Okay. Seriously, um, these people. Uh, <laughs> that was a good idea. <laughs> um, but can I carry the body with me? I don't know why you why you keep them around. It says to the body. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab Micah. And Fiorca. And Shadow. Is it my turn? Chance. Just a second. It's about to be. Oh. I need some rolls. Not for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fiorca, you've you know that there's a dragon out here somewhere that people have talked about. You know it. It used to have a mage that wrote it, and it's dangerous. That's what you know. Like oh. it's a legendary thing. You haven't, you know, people talk about such a thing, but <clears throat> that's the stuff you can pin down and remember. Okay. Is it my turn yet, or? Nope. Uh, Crenin, you're trying to uh, grab the body. Yeah. Well, I mean, I unstrapped it, right? Yeah. So. I, I just. I yell, leave the, with me. I yell, leave the body. Okay. I guess I leave the body. Okay. You've still got the satchel, though. Or whoever grabbed yep. it has it. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm. And I, I run. Okay. So. Which 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 way is which way is the dragon head? Which which end is the dragon's head? It is this way. East, west, north. But it is 
turned it around, so it's it's looking at its back. No, oh, but but basically, he his his basic posture is he's facing east. Yes. That's mm-hmm. that's what I'm asking. Yep. Which which way is which way is his basic body posture? His tail is towards Micah. His head was gotcha. the opposite direction. Uh, right. So we don't want to run east. We want to run 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 west. <laughs> it won't matter. I understand it won't really matter, but I'm just saying. All right. Well, that's this is fun. <laughs> Can I move my full movement? What am I doing here? Yes, you can move your full movement. Especially because you've got boots that will let you. Actually, I don't think he has the boots. Okay. I don't have the striding stringy boots, no. It's fine. Okay. Wouldn't help him anyways. Nope. Micah. Okay. Well, this is this is a thing. Yeah, there's no way we can out uh, we as a group can outrun this dragon. There's just no way. So. Yeah, but he might be giving us a chance to just leave him alone, and then he'll go right back to sleeping. We don't know yet. That's why I say just run. I mean, why else would he be giving us a countdown as opposed to just immediately snapping at us or or blowing ice on us? So I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna do the crazy thing. Just gonna state that up front. Oh lord, we're doomed. <laughs> it's like what I was doing was bad. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. Um I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to cast hex. Okay. Does it have a saving throw? Uh, it does. Do I drag it over to him? How does that work? Uh, he he's going to make the save. Okay. <laughs> well, no, actually, I don't think it does. Come to think of it. Let me check. Um, yeah, you never know. He can always roll a one. Even dragons can critically fail on occasion. Uh, you place a curse on the creature you see within range until the end. Uh, you deal an extra d6 necrotic damage. Target whether you, uh, whenever you hit with an attack. And you choose one ability when you cast a spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with that chosen ability. Um... And I'm going to say Dex. It doesn't sound like a saving throw is required. Nope. Okay. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, and till, uh, if I hit him, uh, he'll be taking extra damage. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, Do I see Micah cast this? I mean, you see, what, what kind of cast is this? Um. It, yeah, you can see him cast a spell. Yeah, he, he um, uh, sort of throws up his uh, uh, symbol, his, uh, his um, usual, the staff he usually uses for uh, casting purposes as his focus, and casts a spell you've never seen him cast before. Okay. Then uh, there's nothing that I'm going to say then if I don't know what he's doing. Um, and uh, I mean, Susan might recognize the spell. I probably would because I have it. Yeah, and the you know, hex blades use it a lot, so he's um, hexing him. And uh, then I'm going to throw my spear at him. Okay. Well, my go is nice knowing you. Oh, this will be fine. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry. Wait, be... wait. You're actually attacking it? Yep. 
I suspect something's a little wrong with Micah. <laughs> can I, um... I can't take an action, can I? Not yet. Okay. I mean, uh, reaction, if you had something. But... I didn't have anything prepared, so no. Roll the hit. Nope. Correct. But the question is, did the dragon see him try to hit him? <laughs> well, yes, he's looking right at him. Uh, um, so you throw the javelin... It hits no, him. No, spear. No, but, spear. It, yeah. it, it hits him in the tail and just kind of goes thunk, drops to the ground. Um, Ew. It <laughs> cocks its head a little bit. You and know. I'll walk up to it. You got another one of those weird line of sight things going? Oh, never mind. It's it's working, I think. And uh, I'll uh, say to him, "We weren't bothering you. You should not be uh, being mean to us." Probably not going to do anything. I'm probably going to need a new character concept, but it was nice while it lasted. Pass your turn, please. Oh, right, right. Sorry. That's right. I will respond when when its turn comes up. Yeah. Okay. What was Shadow going to do? He is moving 120 20 feet, feet. Yes. directly to the west. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> This checks out with what Shadow would do. This is yes, fair. I mean, so how, however far you want to move him. Yeah, I just put him at the Big edge one. so I don't have to take him completely off the map. Okay. Fiorica. Okay. I'm I'm pointing you to the west. Run. Um. Do do a do a dash so you can do mo double movements. Double movement. So where's the where's the spear that he chucked? It's uh, like it's like right there. It's right by me. Yeah, you saw it hit the tail and just fall to the ground like. Push to talk, started... honey. <clears throat> Sorry. You saw it hit the dragon like it was a steel reinforced door and hit the ground. Okay. So I say in Draconic to the dragon, I, my apologies, oh great one. We did not mean to disturb your slumber. Please forgive us. My name is Viorica. And as I walk by the spear, uh -huh. um, I cast Firebolt on the, on the, at the spear okay. to burn it. As I walk away. Okay. Just roll some damage and. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You might you uh, might want to mention uh, that you think there's something wrong with our with our druid friend, and we're gonna get him out of here. <laughs> uh. Okay. Thank you. Um, uh huh. It's broken. And so five, ten, fifteen. It's repairable, there, but it's broken. That's, that's 30. But I just wanted... I, well, there was a... I just wanted him to see me destroy it with magic. Right. Okay. And pass your turn. Okay, so let's do this. I remember fighting a dragon at fourth level. How'd that go? Was it a baby dragon? It was a it was yeah young green. Uh, we actually won. Surprising. Yeah, see, baby dragon's a little different than say, <laughs> oh, I don't know, an ancient dragon. <laughs> I know. Uh. Uh. 
I had a lot of D20s. That, that's a that's a lot of D20s. One for all of us. Yeah. He he did he did a he did a group uh, wisdom save. It looks like. Yep. Did I pass or fail? Most of us failed. You didn't get hit by one. Huh. Cool. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> <clears throat> it says to, to Micah, strap my friend back in. Okay. That seems fair. I go over and grab the uh, the body away from uh, Krennan. Well, is well on my turn. Right, Krennan, you still have the body, correct? No, he left it. I okay. left it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought happened. Um, the body is still on the dragon, in it, okay. like, but not in its proper seat anymore. Sure, sure, sure. Well, my plan is the same as it was before. Okay. Just double run. I'm hiding behind those trees. Okay. <laughs> Screaming, Doom is on wings! <laughs> <laughs> and Martin. All right, so what's the terrain look like to the north here? I see some kind of jagged shadows. I don't know if that's like cliffs or it is, what. It is jagged rock. It is sticking up as opposed to down. Okay, does it look like there might be a crevice or something that I might be able to hide in that uh, wouldn't get a direct blast if he decided to breathe into it? It doesn't kind of look like it. Kind of. You could... Um, shoot, that's not the token. All right. If you went this way and then this way, you could hide behind that. You kind of cut out there for a second. Oh, sorry. If you could go the way I point, made those pointers go, um, you can hide behind it that way. Okay. Feels a bit like uh, I may be, uh, the, the Alex may be getting payback on me for the last session I ran. Actually, no, but <laughs> it just I heard all about that. <laughs> I was there, I just wasn't on. <laughs> okay, oh, I got a little bit of movement left. Okay. Krennan, well, you're frightened. I am. Yes. So I just, I can't move closer, right? But I can do other things? Yes. Yes. And you have disadvantage on attacks against oh, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to cast darkness. <laughs> okay, where? Uh, on centers on, on the... <laughs> Sorry, centers well, on the what? On a dragon. I mean, on the dragon, because if he sees a darkness thing, I can't see in my own darkness, right? Right. But you're going to hinder uh, Micah from strapping his friend oh, back to see where he needs to go. Yeah. Screw it. I'm just running. If I could grab Viorca, I will, but if not, I'm just going to run. Well, Viorca, can he grab you? I'm frightened, so if he's moving that way, then yeah. Okay. Then you can. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to go 35, 40. Uh, well, that's off the map, so I can move 80. Yeah, she can move and, 60, right? You would yeah, but I think he's less, carrying less. me. Are you actually carrying her or just kind of? Yeah, I'll carry her if I can. 
I mean, okay. I'm strong enough, I guess. With strength of 19, you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I move 80 feet that away. Right. I'm actually trying to move her. Okay. It's push to talk. That's what's messing me up, because I hold down control with my push to talk button. So it's... All right. Anyway, she's moves with you. Excellent. And I done. Yeah, I okay. use uh, shift as a push to talk myself. That might be worthwhile for you. And you can set up multiple push to talks in Discord too. Okay, Micah. All right. <laughs> I am going to climb up and uh, strap the rider back in place. Okay. The dragon's on. See, isn't that better? And I can. And he doesn't say that to you. He clearly is talking to the dead person. Um, do all the straps look okay? Like, do any of them look uh, decayed or anything? Nope. Okay. I mean, not particularly. All right. Is that, do you want some extra uh, supplies, extra rope to help uh, keep them in place? The dragon seems to wait for the corpse to respond. Okay, then. And then looks like, hmm. Well, you look like you're in good shape. And I climb back down. Uh, and uh, are we good? Three... Push to talk. Three? It gives you a look. Is that three said with a quizzical tone or in a... Uh, yeah, there's a, it, there's a question mark at the end. Ah. Uh, what numbers has he said so far? 12, 11, 6, 3. At least, uh... I suggest bravely running away. Have you what? Do you have any injuries? It does not appear to have any kind of injuries. Okay. Well, in that case. Have a good one. We'll uh, we'll talk later, <laughs> and I'll just leisurely stroll away. I'm not running; I'm just walking, sort of. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna pass turns to its real quick because I think everyone else is almost out of the map, off the map. Unless you have yeah. something to say, people who are off the map. Nope. Okay. I'm frightened out of my mind, so if anything, I'm just hitting Cronin in the back going, run, 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 run! <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. Faster, You're terrified faster. beyond the, the capacity for rational thought. You say it nice and calmly like that, too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. Okay. I'm about to either it, need a new character concept or not. Those are generally the choices. And, and, and besides, he's got le legendary actions he could have been taken. So. Yeah, yeah. He seems to, he turns and he says to the corpse, see, even in these blizzards, that's why I don't eat people. It starts to walk off. Not fly, walk off. That's fair. It's a blizzard. Makes flying tough. <clears throat> and I'm walking like... Da -da, da -da. 
Hey, what happened to the goats? Oh, right. They're still right. on the... Uh... Thanks for reminding Thanks for reminding me. He eats the goats, uh -oh. then turns uh -oh. into oh, oh, way to go. go. <laughs> way to go, Susan. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Don't forget to eat the goats before you go. Oh. <laughs> So keep in mind, he goes, that's why I don't eat people. Turns around, eats the goats, turns back around, and walks off. There in you my, go. In my head, I picture him turning to walk away, and then the goats bleat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel so terrible. I'm so <laughs> When it walks away, I, I, I stop, watch it walk, go off. Not the goats! <laughs> yep, and after, and after it walks off, I head back towards the middle. Okay. Edward out of initiative, because he's just going to yeah. walk off, because he's yeah. insane anyway. Um... <clears throat> <coughs> Okay, so that was a very rare random encounter that you all happened to roll up. Oh, good. S sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, let's, let's get our story straight. We didn't find any goats in the thing, right? No, we no found goats. The goats. No, I say we found no. We found the goats, but we also found a white dragon. We had to we had to give him the goats in order to live. Well, we took care of the white dragon. I mean, I talked to him. You can put oh, me down I now. I tried talking to him. Oh, I can put you down. Yeah, I forgot. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey, Micah, why did you attack that big giant? Can eat you in one gulp, dragon. So there is an important thing to understand about dragons. It's a very important thing to know. Running away from dragons just means you die tired. Not if you're the fastest runner. They can still go faster than you. Yeah, not but if you can find get some. Not if you can find some place to hide where they can't reach. Yeah, they can still get you. Dragons are the ultimate predators in this world. You either face them with strength and beat them, or you talk to them. Or you die. Those are your choices. Okay. Have you met a dragon before? Oh, we hear stories around the. Oh, fire. oh this was my first. This was my first one. <laughs> it was my first one, but we hear stories about them around the fires, in the tribe. From from people who have also never actually faced a dragon. No, no, no. They tell the story of the dragon that uh, oh, what's his name uh, helped kill. Well, fight off. Drist? Drist. Yes, Drist helped fight one off. And Lothgar, uh, uh, the, the, his friend, the barbarian, Lothgar? Hey, do they all have yes. dead guys strapped to their back? or? Oh, not in all the stories, no. But they all tend to agree. You can't... Running from a dragon just means you die tired. That is that is consistent. You don't You don't run from them. You either fight them... Or avoid ever encountering them. But if you run into them, don't run. It's just going to be unpleasant for you. Oh. Hey, who ended up with that pack? What's in it? Yeah, I've got it. All right. One moment. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There, 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 there's nothing here. This was almost worthy of a tale around the fire. I think... I think... The, I would great, gain great honor amongst the tribe for standing up to a dragon. Particularly one this big. He was huge. Did you see the size of its teeth? I mean, it was... Yes. It, they were longer than my torso. You should have asked him to, to take, a, take a tooth as a memento. Oh. In the bag. Next... Next time I will. There is a sickle. There is a book. And there Ooh. is a unstrung light, uh, longbow. A sickle, you say? I do. 
Bits and Trees grabs a longbow immediately. <laughs> no, no. He, do- he doesn't know about it. He's too far away. I need a new party. No, no, I, I, I swap longbows. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put mine in the satchel, and take the other one out, and wear it. All right. So those, those, those are things that I've put in the party sheet. Let me know if you identify them. A uh, sickle, eh? Yep. I will. What kind I mean, of I'll. Is that? It's a short, curved. Well, I know uh, what it is, but is it like a simple? Is it like an exotic? A simple weapon. No, it's a simple, simple weapon. weapon. A simple weapon. And one that druids are kind of known for using. What would you like to identify first uh, on the way well, back, Vioka? Okay. okay. Uh, well, I could, I can do this in the warmth of the cart, right? Because. Well, it's 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 a sled, so there's it's not like it has an interior a sled. per se. Okay. Um, I but will yeah, identify we can, we can... the bow first as we're riding. Okay. I will click off the identify, and whoever has it uh, can read about it. And do the description for me is what I'm saying. Like I've described it in the information, but it's well, a custom. Gotta find it item first. Item. I know. Ooh. You wrote up so a custom is item. Is it in the inventory? Yeah, it's in the party sheet. Oh, longbow of life leeching. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. wow, that sounds nifty. This uh, ebony longbow has a bronze grip shaped like a screaming face. When you attack a creature with this magic weapon and roll a 20 on the attack roll, that target takes an extra 10 necrotic damage, provided that the target isn't a construct or an undead. You also gain 10 temporary hit points. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Since Shadow isn't here. Uh, <laughs> yep, it's all yours. I would uh, be interested in that sickle. Honestly, I'll be interested in the sickle, even if it's not magical. But I would say check it out first. I can identify that next. Okay. Uh, after a Mr. little Doc. while. Mm-hmm. Thanks. <laughs> this is why I, I'm used to DMing with, without it. Yep. Same. Um especially if I gesticulate a little. Um, so, totally lost my train of thought. Sickle. It's identifying the sickle. Right. Um, after the blizzard clears, which happens pretty eerily quickly after uh, the dragon has walked away, um, you identify the sickle. And I'll open it up. It is not custom, but it's neat. Okay. And it glows with moonlight, apparently, it said. Where is it? It's not showing up on that list here. It's the second. It's like right under mess kits. It's like halfway down. Oh, moon sickle, plus one. Ooh. This silver bladed sickle glimmers softly with moonlight. While holding this magic weapon, you gain a bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it. And you gain a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and the saving throw DCs of your druid and ranger spells. In addition, you can use the sickle as a spell casting focus for your druid and ranger spells. When you cast a spell that restores hit points, you can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the amount of hit points restored, provided you are holding the sickle. Yoink. Wow. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> like, its base damage isn't great. It's a d4. But still, the rest of that makes it totally worth it. That's a crazy item. Wow. And, and then there was a tome. I will identify the tome if we still have time. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah, we'll make the time. Let's just talk. You do. I, I've just uh, unmarked it. It is loaded with arcane and... Arcane Grimoire plus one. I don't see it. Arcane Grimoire. It's the very top. Oh. Oh, it's another spell book. 
So soon Viorca's going to be walking around with like a bookshelf <laughs> on her back. <laughs> Hold on, let me check my library. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, it be a big golem that has like bookshelf built in, like a clay golem or something. Well, there's well, my actually, idea for an artificer. <laughs> actually, this one, though, if I hold this one, I can use it as a spellcasting focus, and I gain a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and the saving throw DCs of my wizard spells. Oh, you I got one of those. And in addition, when I use my arcane recovery feature, I can increase the number of spell slot levels you regain by one. I'm assuming nice. this is mine because it's a yes. wizard. <laughs> it literally is only usable by wizard. <laughs> Yay! That's a really good item too. Yeah, the, uh, they uh, came out I, with a bunch of those, and they're all excellent. I equip that. Yeah. Okay. And you're gonna have to modify your spell DCs to make sure the target There's numbers some... are higher. Okay. There's something. There's something wrong with the way that it popped into my inventory, but we can fix that later, I guess. It's like a weird. Okay. Cool. There we go. All right. All right. Uh, other than that, excitement. You all make it back to town. Yay! Uh, Which town? Is it Kerkoenig? Hold on. Yes, Kerkoenig. Okay, yeah. So, maybe I add a new uh, extra title to my name, Micah the Brave? Brave, brave, Sir Micah. Or, uh, maybe... Uh, M Micah Dragon Talker. As you oh. say that out loud, Viarka kind of swears in Draconic under her breath. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, um, let's see. Oh, that's much nicer. Let's see what they give you when you return. So sorry about stuff. the goats. Do you? What would you like to tell them when you get back in town? Uh, you go, to, of course, to the speaker's house, who's the one who actually sent you off. The investigator. Well, oh, I definitely yeah. tell him that, that, or her, that I scream no not the goats and then the dragon turned around and ate the goats definitely don't say that there we go okay well you find the push to talk i thought actually i thought i had it down that time um with the when you return to the northern light which is the inn that the the lantern belongs to which is actually the closest point to it get to the town from the way where you were at um you find torvus the uh, speaker passed out in an armchair meanwhile ali and cory are, are busy you know working around the tavern hey we found your lamp we found who was stealing all the stuff Oh well, thanks. What what happened? Did you did you did you find the thieves? Yes, it was Druagar, but they've been dispatched. Hugar, Druagar, and there's more of them around, so we need to be careful. Well, I mean, what are they? You 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 speak of them as they are a people. They're an evil, evil race, kind of like dwarves. People think they're dwarves, but they're not really dwarves. 
they are not. And there was an undead ogre with them and all sorts of crazy stuff. And there's a, a, uh, what you call it, a fortress way up north that they were using as a base. And they have plans to like keep the land in darkness forever. Well, it looks like that's working out, says uh, Corey. And, yeah, and there's a dude named Dearth who is one of them. Okay. Um, well, how about some ale? Yes, and they've excellent. Got some Done. Ale and they've yes. Got rooms yep. For you. Yes, but, but Dearth is over in East Haven, so we need to head over there eventually. Yeah. And they um, and you all can take a long rest and attune yeah. to things. Yeah. Get spell slots that you didn't have before. In my get die back. Um, and they can also help you return people's things that you have. Yep. Let's see. Other than that, let's... Uh, what do you all want to do with all this stuff you all are carrying around? Sell it. Okay, then someone should grab out the boots and probably yep. the dog sled and um, any other th anything you want out of there to keep that someone needs in their inventory. So I can sell it. Uh, yeah, Craig, why don't you just go ahead and grab those boots just because. And Fireworka, I'm going to say that you, uh, there's a set of arrows in there that are that uh -huh. detected as magical in case you want to identify those two. You can just do oh, the match. sure. I didn't see that. Yeah, sure. I'll, I will detect those as well. Oh, walloping what? arrows. A creature hit by the ammunition must succeed on a DC 10 strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Uh, you, you, can, you can give those to Shadow. That way that way he can't complain too much. There's some scrolls, too. There's some scrolls and potions that we should keep. What's the elegant right. scroll? I grabbed the dog sled. Cold I took a climbers. Clothing. Yeah, I took a climber's kit if someone else wants to take another one. Oh, there's a potion of invisibility, potion of vitality. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I'll take a kit. Yeah, I'll, and I'll give uh, the arrows to Shadow here. I can. So these elegant scrolls, it says the scroll is of high quality and the writing is precise. What do the scrolls say? Uh, you, let's see, I think there's only one set of them. You can read them, so I've identified them for you. Because you can read them. Scroll of rope trick. Three scrolls of rope trip back, trip, trick, well, that's actually. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody want that explorer's like pack? Need that explorer's pack? Yeti layer, I think. Or at least on that adventure portion. Um, uh, I'll I'll take the scrolls of rope rope trick just to so we don't lose them. Yeah, yeah. Also, you can copy one of those into your spellbook. Yes, that costs gold though, right? Yeah, it does. But and time. then you and time, but yeah, you you'll have it permanently from then on though. So. So we've we've still got wood carvers tools, a wine skin. How much gold do we have now? Quite a bit. Yeah. We haven't sold the rest of it yet, though. Yeah, uh, it, I'll, I'll take that empty pouch. If you so want to taking potions, so I don't think I need any of the potions. So somebody else should probably grab them. Um. 
But uh, wow. if you want to get the spell copied, I will pay the ink cost because it seems like something would be useful for uh, you to have and, and uh, would help us overall. Yeah, I'm looking just to see if I have... How much does it cost to... 50 per level? Yep. For uh, spell level? Unless it's your specialty school, then it's half that. Yeah, I don't have quite 50 yet, although once we sell off stuff and we split things up. Well, is, is that yeah. from the uh, PHB, though? The cost? Yeah. Yeah. Check uh, Tosh's, because I think there's, uh, there's either Tosh's or Xanathar's, because I think they made a, a, an adjustment to that. Oh, yeah, I don't have those books, so I do not know. Okay. Who um, wants to hear the potions? Why don't you carry those? Uh, okay. I will do so. This explorer's pack has good stuff in it. 10 days yeah. of rations, a water skin, 50 feet of rope. Yeah, that's that's pretty much standard uh, starting equipment. So I think I've already, ha already have that myself. So if, if you yeah. don't have it, you grab it. If you don't have any of that stuff, grab it. Yeah, that's... Did you get one of the shields earlier, Micah? I do. Yeah, I've got a shield. You got it? Okay. Yeah. We'll grab the wine skin. Uh, wood carver's tools. Anybody want to do wood carving? I've got a scrimshaw uh, tool proficiency, I think. Grab the navigator's tools for now. If anybody wants that, just let me know. They can have it. And does anybody want fishing tackle? Ooh, fishing. Do you have to be proficient in fishing gear? No, not that I'm aware of. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Just yeah. The kit includes a wooden pole, silk, uh, silken line, corkwood bobbers, steel hooks, lead sinkers, velvet lures, and some narrow netting. So basically, it's anything you need to go fishing. Sweet. Sure, why not? Do some ice fishing. And if anybody is missing a mess kit, go ahead and grab one of those in there. I, right. grabbed one. I think everybody has cold weather clothing. Yeah. There are some daggers in there if anybody wants. Okay. Uh, war picks if anybody wants. Uh, yeah, somebody... through the book itself. It looks like the Xenothar's things is for making scrolls, not really from spells that you know, not the other way around um so it's still 50 a level okay i thought i'd i thought i'd read somewhere where in in some forum somewhere but it doesn't matter i don't do a lot of spell chuckers myself so yeah it's two hours and 50 gold for each level of the spell i do not know the level of that spell off the top of my head should be on the scroll i'm re i'm reading it looking Okay. And so no some... one wants to equip those boots. Level two. Right. No, no. Again, I, I ideally give them to, to oh. Sergeant Oozle. Yeah, but until he's back, someone should just at least wear them, right? Um, yeah, that's probably true. But, but and again, they probably do you the most good though with your. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll wear them. Yeah, but if someone wants them, just I mean, I'll give them away. No problem. Sure. This doesn't so nobody... say what's. It doesn't say what level it is, so I'll have to look it's it up. Second level transmutation. So okay. it's a hundred gold and four hours. So I can't afford to do it on my own to pay you for it, but uh, I think with oh, all the stuff how... we're selling, okay. we might hang, be able to. Pull yeah, it. hang on. Let's let's wait until we sell everything to figure out what else. Uh, what else is uh, you know how much more we got? Does anybody want those wood carver tools? Uh, I I'm not well not... selling. Yeah, I'm... I think they're worth a gold. I mean, it's nothing. So, going once, going twice. I'm about to sell. Sold. Oh. Excellent. Sell it. <laughs> it's the only thing they didn't sell. Um... Uh... <laughs> Fine. I'll just put it in my inventory then. Okay, and dispersed. 
everyone gets 41 gold pieces and 23 silver pieces with a little bit of change left over. Woohoo! Cool. Uh, how much gold do you have, Iorca? Oh, I have 108, so I can learn it. There you go. But if I need anything, I might have to borrow some money. That's yes. fair. Yeah, I mean, we could literally just give you the money from all that stuff just so you can learn spells. I mean, I don't care. I, I, I can. I'll give you twenty-five gold just to uh, contribute to the cause. Hey, well, so, just hold hold on to it for now, and then if I need money, then okay. Yeah. First, so how do you? Well, eventually you have to teach me how to learn it. So sure. Uh, first, Baruka, go ahead into the party sheet and clear out the loose change. Um, you can just grab them and drag them to the respective slots on your inventory. Uh, can you not just assign it to her? Are you, what are you talking? Uh, I don't know how to. Are you talking about the parcel coins? Yep. Yes. Oh. Uh, I tried. It's okay. going into my equipment list. I'm trying to figure out how to. There's a way to assign items. I don't know how to assign the coins. I just manually do it. Yeah, just just add the numbers to it and I'll erase them when you've okay. finished. And apparently I did have an extra gold piece because I have five gold in my inventory now, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Yep. Alright, everybody. Um, We'll wrap all this up offline. Um, <clears throat> Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, please feel free to check out Fancy Grounds at fancygrounds.com. Um, Unity now has, as, as we used a little of tonight, the um, ability to limit and vision via how much dark vision you have, if you have it. And if not, you can uh, make light emissions on both tokens and points on the map, as well as do ambient lights on top of the special effects like the blizzard tonight. Uh, so feel free to go check them out and go ahead and check out Dungeons Dragons Online at ddo.com. Uh, let's go through everyone. Uh, Patrick doesn't have anything to share this evening. Sousa? Um, sure, you can check out our goods and wares at uh, eldritchentertainment.com or theamethystdragonfly.com. Micah? That's it? You're not going to mention Project Yark? And come yark with us every, what is it, every other Tuesday? Se second, and, second and fourth Tuesdays. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay. And Micah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm Jeremiah McCoy. Uh, I'm Basics of the Game here on Twitch and on TikTok. Uh, and I'm uh, Tech Noir on Twitter. I talk a lot about D and D and other role playing game stuff and some other things along the way. Okay, Martin. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Raiders of the Lost Yark is is a game that's run by Even Note uh, on uh, Twitch on uh, the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. So, this coming Tuesday would be uh, the time. Um. Her Twitch channel is Kobold Even, and I believe it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, 8, 8 to 10. Okay, and Krenanen. Eh, got nothing besides playing in these games. So yep. Follow me anywhere, please. Vyorka? Same? Same. All right. Well, thanks for joining us this evening, and we'll see you, well, in about a month from now. Thank you. Oh, and Oracle of War next weekend, as far as I know, on Sunday. It is one run by Patrick. There's his thanks part. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a good night. Night. Good night. <laughs>